Julie D from London. All right, let's just give it a minute. Carla, you can go ahead and record. Thanks. Christina Jones, how are you, beautiful? Nice to see your pretty face. And I see Julie D. Is that Julie Truly from the UK? Sherry, how are you, gorgeous? Oh, I miss you. Nice to see you here. Miss you, and Marsha, welcome. Good to see you online, Marsha. You're killing it. Just being on the assignments, on the on the coaching calls. You're doing amazing, and you look Thank good you. every time I see you. <laughs> um, okay, and then um, we have Evelyn. Evelyn, welcome. I think this is going to be your first webinar with us. One of our newest yes, clients. Yes, to the Power mm -hmm. Personal Style. Good to see you here, Evelyn. Uh, Kelly, also great to see you here. Fiona, In Miss Ingrid Watson, good to see you here. I have missed our conversations. Susan Yoda in the house, how are you? Little powerhouse. I am. Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, man, such beautiful faces I haven't seen for so long. Okay, Mercedes, Amy, as always online and just being diligent and getting all the coaching that you can. You guys are in for a treat today. Who is the beautiful girl in the hot pink jacket? Yes, who you are, who's that? Can you unmute yourself and just give me your name? Hi, I'm Rita. Oh, Rita, yes, I didn't recognize you for a minute. You and your beautiful little girl did some a uh, couple of pictures recently. I love that you are influencing her with fashion. So good, Thank you. so good. Linda Shaw, I like your t-shirt that you've got on. Nice, I'm seeing pops of- I just got Dash. it yesterday. <laughs> who's that? Linda. I just got it yesterday. Wonderful. Perfect timing since we're doing I Love My Body and, and, and Fashion in the Bedroom today. Fantastic. Uh, Mercedes. Okay. Alex. Uh, Melanie. Always good to see you here. Also so diligent. There's a couple of people still connecting, but we are going to get going. What I'm loving is my yes. mission to paint the world red is taking shape. I'm seeing red. I'm seeing dashes of bold. I'm seeing, And white, by the way. White is a dash of bold. White is beautiful. You don't have to. There's a lot of people who are very anti-red. So like, okay, well, you know, it's Tuesday. You get to choose it. But as long as you try it, it's okay. As long as we play, as long as we try. Alana, nice to see you here. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Um, Cheryl, nice. There's a couple of names that I don't know. If you can be on video, you want to be on video. Why? Because I'm going to introduce you to my special guest. And guys, I might get emotional about this because I have in front of me a very, very powerful picture that is going to give you an idea of why I've been shouting this woman's name from the rooftops for 20 years and two months, something like that, okay? So what this is, is I just changed it up. Uh, we had the white one on recently. I love my body. We are exactly halfway through our campaign of I love my body. And there are so many of you in the Dress to Connect group that I'm, I'm blown away by your diligence and your commitment to no longer wait for the wait, to no longer hide and dress down and blend into the background. And some of you are blending into the black ground. Black will always be back, okay? The black is okay with a dash of bold or some lipstick or cute little earrings, just something that won't make you blend into the background because that's not what you were designed for. This divine design that we have from our Father in heaven, the creator of all things, was not designed to hide or to blend into the background. And so we have today, excuse my croaky voice, we have today two webinars coming to you about beauty and, and, and body image and love and sex and uh, being frigid. And we're also talking uh, sexual uh, abuse and a little bit later after this event. And there's a bunch of stuff coming in, all is connected to the core of who we are. It's connected to our womanhood, our beauty, our love and acceptance of ourselves and our bodies. And I'm telling you that if you are prepared to do the work, if you're prepared to make the investment, there is freedom on the other side. How do I know? Because I was like that. I, my story is frigid to frisky, but that's coming later, okay? But it's connected to what we're doing right here, right now. So I'm going to introduce you to one of my mentors who has been for two decades of my life a rock solid, trustworthy, approachable, wise, and incredibly powerful influence in my life. As a woman, as a, as a wife, as a mom, as a businesswoman, 
we all go through different stages of 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 health and energy and vitality and i am like many other women and men but like many other women i just uh, I took my health for granted for too long. And although I worked hard to educate myself and to do some, you know, self-education, and I really didn't get very serious about my health until very recently. And I'm turning 49 in a couple of months. And I didn't think that I would ever be that person who waited for the health scare. I didn't wait for the health scare, but I did get a serious warning, a red alert scare about a week after I decided in December, I've got to fix my health. It's just, I was just, and I'm going to show you a picture that's going to show you just how out of whack I was with my body. And like my mentor Marianne says, you know, we all look for the miracle out there for glowing vitality and wellness where, where she says, our body is the miracle. This thing that we're living in is the miracle. This holy temple houses our soul and our heart and all the organs that make us run, right? The engine and everything that works as one. And so, why I have Mary Ann in, in my coaching program and, and I'm blessed to uh, be able to ask her to come and spend time with you guys at no cost, right? At no cost to me and at no cost to you. She's here on a Sunday because she's passionate. Uh, she's, she's as passionate about making the whole world well, one person at a time, than I am as healthy women to get up, dress up and be a bold light on a hill. And there's a beautiful overlap. There's a beautiful connection in what we're doing because Beauty is an inside job. It must show up on the outside. We are not just an inside set of organs. We are not, you know, you can't see your organs on the outside. They're on the inside and they're protected and clothed and housed by your body on the outside. But it starts on the inside. It starts in the mind. It starts on the inside taking care of ourselves. What this is not is a weight loss program. What this is not is losing weight and losing what you like to eat and getting rid of stuff and taking away and a loss mindset. What this is, and the reason why I still only look to Mary Ann on nobody else on the planet will I take advice from when it comes to food, nutrition, health, wellness, libido, everything. Okay, there is another woman who I take a, some advice on a libido and that's my coach and mentor, Danny Johnson, but that's in a different area and that's a different story. And we're gonna be talking about that on our 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 9 p.m. South Africa Time Fashion in the Bedroom webinar. So Mary Ann, I was probably, uh, it was in the year 2000, so quite some time ago, when I was given a gift to go to a health farm and um, everything that I knew about food and protein and calcium and all those things that we are trained, dairy, but everything, was blown out of the water when I was sitting in my robe, doing a detox, miserable and feeling hangry, and this woman in a large auditorium of people starts talking about how godly food into a godly body produces godly results. And everything that she said just came against everything that I thought that I knew, everything that I had been trained. Because why? Because we outsource our health, just like we outsource our faith, we outsource our personal style, we outsource a lot of stuff. And so I decided everything that she said, I was going to test. Okay. I, I decided I'm, I'm going to test this because I don't believe it can't be true. Everything that she said didn't cost a lot of money. It wasn't the newest thing under the sun. It actually went back to the days of Genesis and the creation of mankind. Everything was very simple. Short version, I tested, I took everything. I bought her, back in the day, it was CDs and stuff, right? And tapes. I bought it, I tested it on my own body, and I had the most powerful 11 months of my life. I, I went on to a mainly, not completely, plant-based um, whole foods diet. And I gave up things that I thought I needed, like dairy for um, calcium, and I, and I gave up meat that I thought I needed for protein, all those things. I became the strongest and healthiest that I've ever been. And um, in terms of the test that I, because I was going to go back to and say, listen, I tried this stuff and it didn't work. Well, I, I just, I followed her, whatever she was saying, I was writing down, whatever she was doing, I was, and then we moved over to the UK. Now, I'm going to show you a picture, like I said, in a minute why Mary Ann is here with regards our programs and events with regards to I Love My Body is she flips the switch on the loss mentality, which I really appreciate, which I found very powerful. It has helped me tremendously as a woman. Instead of focusing on the loss, there is nothing that she will teach you that is about taking away. It's all about adding to. 
and you're going to ask her some questions and I'm going to tell you what she's doing in terms of her newest program, which is the most ridiculous value you'll ever find on the planet for like, we will get there. The point is how she approaches uh, life and wellness and vitality is not just from a food perspective. It's not just from a spiritual perspective. It's not just physical. She has a whole comprehensive, um, full-minded and full-hearted approach to how to live your very best life with what God gave us from the soil to the food. There's nothing wrong with our soil. There's nothing wrong with the trees. There is nothing wrong with the food that you get on the farm. Do we have to combat a few things and with antioxidants and things here and there? Yeah, sure. But the, the, the supplements, and if you have questions around supplements and vitamins and things, I encourage you to ask her. If you have a question, you need to type into the chat box right now, open your chat box and type in there, I have a question. Do not type your question in the chat box, okay? Because it's not going to get answered. Just type your, uh, in the chat box, say, I have a question. And then what's going to happen when we go over to Q&A in a minute, Carla is going to bring you onto video one by one, and you get to talk with Mary Ann directly. She is going to answer your questions. Guys, don't hold back. It doesn't matter if it's about menopause or weight. Listen, I hit menopause about 18 months ago, maybe just more than that. And it freaking came at me like a freight train. And it took me out in more ways than one. You don't have to live with uh, any menopause symptoms. That is something that I've discovered that was like unbelievably good news to me. So whether it's menopause or weight, whether it's water retention, whether it's low or no libido, whether it doesn't matter what it is. If you're a cancer survivor, it doesn't matter what it is. I encourage you, ask this woman the question, who you'll have in front of you in a minute is the Warren Buffett of health and wellness. Okay, there is nobody on the planet better than that. How do I know? Because I have freaking high standards, because I've done my research, because I have tested everything, and there's nothing out there like Mary Ann's The Natural Way. If you're in healthcare, or you're a fitness trainer, or you're an instructor, or you consider yourself healthy and strong, it's good that you're here. Because as my coach says, that which you think you're good at, you will never master. You want to learn a few things. Okay, so how I got back to where I am right now is I've always been the kind of person, maybe like you, where if I get a little bit off track, I can just eat clean and I drop pounds just fall off me. But that came to an end after many years of just, um, hello, beautiful Monique, looking gorgeous in those red lips. Oh, I'm loving, <laughs> I'm getting distracted by the pretty pictures. So I, I got to a stage where I knew how to kind of work my body and make sure I had vitality. You know, I've got, if we haven't met, um, we have a couple of businesses. I'm a homeschooling mom and we've traveled a lot. I've been to 44 countries and I've been able to get up and go and rest and get up and go and rest. It came to an end and Marianne kindly but firmly said to me last year when I had a major adrenal attack and an adrenal gland failure. And she said, Linda, you have been playing with your health and kind of not being serious about it for a very long time now. When you do it well, you get the results, but then you go back. And she said, the time is going to come when you have to get serious. And boy, was she right. So on the 23rd of December, I, uh, I made a decision. I felt very unwell in my mind and my body. I'd picked up a lot of weight, like 23 pounds, over 10 kgs. And I made a decision that I was going to get really well. I know how to eat with her, so I just went back onto the natural way, and I'm doing a, a program called 75 Hard, which is all about mental grit. Not long after that, about a week after that, Marianne helped me to understand that my thyroid has had basically shut down, and that, that, that shuts down your whole endocrine system. For 39 days, I didn't have a bowel movement. It gives a whole new meaning to being full of shit, okay? I was full of shit, literally, and in every other way, for 39 days. I have dealt with IBS and all kinds of digestive and tummy issues my whole life. Bloating is not normal. It's common. It's not normal. Indigestion and gas and constipation and it's not normal. It's common. All of these things that we get to just live with, even babies who've got mucus and snot swimming out of their nose, it's not normal. It's common. It's caused by something. So I, I got onto 23rd of December, I got on here and then my system shut down and I just thank my father in heaven that I had Mary Ann who very kindly has been coaching me um, from close quarters, telling me how to do what I need to do. And in 46 days, let me show you something. This is not a weight loss story, 46 days, okay? That's what happened. 
I am down, what is um, seven, almost eight kgs? I'm 15, I'm down seven and a half. So it's like 15 pounds, 16 pounds, 46 days. This is, and I, I, this is not a weight loss program. And can you see by the way, this was not long ago, 46 days ago. I know people are shocked when they say, oh, I would never know, I would never say you were that overweight. No, okay, I know how to dress my body. It's a skill that I learned a long time ago. But I can't tell you how grateful I am after 46 days. Well, actually, it was the 39th, on the day of the 40th day, I feel like I was taken out of the desert because on the 40th day, I had my first natural bowel movement. And that is thanks to this thing. And why, and I've always been passionate about this, but I am now on a, a, a most committed mission. I'm on a mission to make sure that as many people as I can reach, each friends, family, and clients, and anyone else hears about the natural way and hears about Marianne Shira because people are dying. People are, are suicidal. People are on depression medication that actually has as a side effect depression. People are falling apart. Marriages are falling apart where there is a way and there is a, there is a practical, powerful tool that is available to us. And so this one like, always chokes me up, okay? This is my baby girl. Can you just give, um, can you just put, me on um, gallery view so I can see, please. Give me a, a thumbs up if you can see this clearly. Um, just gallery view. Thanks. Okay. So many of you are moms here, right? Some of you are grandmothers as well. This and this was 24 hours difference. My baby, well, I almost died giving birth to this gorgeous girl. Um, my whole insides just split open and I had uh, emergency surgery. I lost more than half of my body's blood. Um, in weight. And so I had five blood transfusions, all kinds of things went wrong. But hey, here we are. And Paige had a terrible time from birth, she went through. So when this was happening, my child, her, her eczema was so bad. Her skin was so raw and red. I couldn't even dress her. I couldn't hold her tightly. I couldn't do any of those things. And I tried many different things. I was living in the UK and um, I don't know why I didn't go there sooner, but eventually I said to Jan, we have to phone Marianne. I can't dress my child. I don't know what's going on. I'm doing the right things. And um, anyway, so we phoned and we actually got a hold of Mark somehow. I don't know how that happened. Mark is Marianne's husband. Trish is in the waiting room, guys. Can someone just keep an eye on that? Thanks. And, um, and Mark, and, and then he, he gave us some awesome advice and Mark then passed us on to Marianne. Marianne's advice of what I needed to do and the natural things that came out of the soil that I put in my baby's goat milk, because I've had a breast reduction as many of you know, and I was rendered unable to breastfeed both of my children, which was such heartache for me. And that causes its own issues. But on her advice and a friend who actually did one or two things with essential oils, his name is Richard, he's like my brother. This is 24 hours. I cried rivers and rivers of gratitude. But, and I didn't have to use the oil for much longer at all. But what I continued was Mary Ann's advice. And so when it has been for, my girl is seven now, my son is 13. My husband who used to be a complete carnivore lives on, on Mary Ann's advice. He's also, he's lost like 25 pounds, maybe almost 30 pounds. The byproduct is weight loss. The byproduct is that you get into back into your genes like I did the other day. The byproduct is that your system heals itself. But the real story here is the gain and the blessing and the power of this. So what I want to do is I'm going to just hand you over to the Q&A session, okay? I would like for you to have as much time with Marianne as possible. I want you to understand, I am not a healthcare expert. I am not a wellness or nutrition guru. I have studied her stuff and I've done, but I, that is not my business. I am, I'm a style coach. I'm an image consultant. But I can tell you this, you can dress up as all you like on the outside, all you like. But if you're messed up on the inside, you're not going to feel confident, beautiful, and bold. And if you're carrying extra weight, let me tell you something, it stops here. How many more years do you want to wait for the weight? Okay, my, my, I've got a beautiful sister who is just gorgeous, but she is hard on herself. She's always carried a little bit of weight. And I'm so excited that she is signing up with Marianne's program because for the first time, I believe that she's going to see how beautiful she is, how powerful her body is. We all have been through that, carrying the extra weight. It's not about the weight. It's about something else. So Cuddler, 
I'm going to ask you just to unmute yourself, please. And then if you have a chat box, do you have people who have questions? I do. I what do. are you going to do? Thanks, Carla. Just get onto them and then say, for example, okay, Susan, you have a question. Susan, unmute yourself and then go for it. And then and then whether it's Susan or whoever else, you would just say hi to Marianne. Can we please pin Marianne so people can see her um, clearly? And um, just as I hand you over, I want you to know who you're talking to. Why I say the Warren Buffett of health and wellness, this woman in front of you is a wife, a mother, a grandmother, an entrepreneur, a business owner. She's an author, a speaker. She's been on global stages. She has been invited into the, uh, the company of people like Oprah Winfrey. She has been across the globe requested to speak on stages to help men and women and children of all ages to live a powerful life. Who we have here, guys, is an incredibly diligent and passionate and committed woman of faith who has de dedicated her life, her husband and her both, to making the whole world well, one person at a time. Carla, take it away. Okay, hi everyone. So first up, we have Marsha with the question. If you can go ahead and unmute yourself. And next up will be Monique. Awesome. So Marsha, go ahead, unmute yourself. Okay, all Thank right. You. Hi, Marianne. Thank you, Linda. Um, so I am 55. I have been, um, my menopause story was like right at, when I was 40, I just um, went through it very quickly. It was just like almost overnight. Really have had 15 years of feeling pretty good, but this last year, um, things I've noticed, um, terrible fatigue, um, night sweats all of a sudden, which I didn't have when I was 40, um, really low libido, brain fog, all of those things. So I'm assuming all of this is more than likely hormonal plus weight gain as well. Let's go to gallery view. Mary on mute. Oh, so Marianne, you're on mute. If you could just unmute yourself. We have sent the ask to unmute request. There you are. Sorry about that. I thought I was unmuted. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, all those symptoms that you mentioned are all hormonally related. Uh, or every single one of them. And the hormonal system basically controls every single thing that goes on in the body. So it's, um, it's fascinating that you're saying you went through menopause 15 years ago, did you say? I think that's what yes. you said. Yes. Um, and you've been fine and now it's all kind of crashing and burning. And the thing, the thing that we don't realize is that the hormonal system controls things like stress. Um, it controls sleep. It controls weight. It controls metabolism. It controls energy. It controls your immune system. It controls mm -hmm. Brain works very closely with the brain and central nervous system. So if something's happening with the brain and central nervous system, it will affect. In fact, the, the hypothalamus, which is coming from the central nervous system, connects to the pituitary gland in the brain. And so if something happens to the hormonal system, it can affect the brain. If something happens to the brain, it can affect the hormonal system. And the interesting thing you spoke about was brain fog, which is very common when the thyroid gland is not working the way that it should. Your thyroid gland is wrapped around your larynx over here. It controls your metabolism, your bowel movements. And most women kind of, they hit 50-ish, some either side of that, and they just find that they get middle age spread as people talk about it. It's this tire, spare tire around their waist. And, um, and, and you just see women just slide down. They just kind of give up and it's so sad and you don't need to go there. Your hormonal system can work well very easily. It just requires consistent effort. The good news is your body can repair itself if you create the right environment. And following the program, you will create that right environment. The bad news is that it's not going to happen overnight. It requires work. You're 55 years old. It hasn't taken you five months to get into the condition you're in. It's 55 years of eating a sort of traditional diet. And, you know, I thought I was doing all the right things, the traditional health things like making my own yogurt and eating that, making only whole grain bread, doing everything as naturally as possible. Um, and, and I was taking all my vitamin supplements, thought I was doing the right things, but my body just went downhill from there and, and I still had a whole lot of health issues. So um, it's been very interesting, as I say, that you, as I said, the, the thing is that you, your body will repair itself, but at the end of the day, you just need time. And that time can be anything, and I don't get shocked with this, okay? It can be anything from three months two to three months to eight years, depending on how bad your hormonal system is, how much medication you've been on, how many different diets you've gone on. Because every time you go on a diet where you're restricting your calorie intake, you actually mess your thyroid gland up more and more. So it depends on a lot of those factors. 
So uh, the starting places, um, you need to get onto uh, definitely, look, the, the program that I would recommend you get onto so that you understand how your body works, because if you understand that you don't go back to where you were, is the 365, there are three programs, there's a 30 day detox, which is quick and fast and, and, and not easy, but people manage it, but it doesn't change you forever. It just gives you a kickstart. And I don't like people going on that if they're on medication. Then there's the 100 Days to Health, which is a slow gradual program, which is ideal for families. And it educates you partially. But the 365 is a year of health in which I actually coach you every single week in a Q&A like this. I answer your questions. Um, you get an email from me every single day explaining. So in month one, you folk entirely focused on the endocrine system, the hormonal system. So by the end of month one, you understand fully what's actually going on. And we also talk about diet. So we're talking about the pillar of health, which is diet. And we're talking about the endocrine system. So you, you'll have, and then we go on to exercise because that has a really powerful effect on the endocrine system. If you exercise for between 20, a minimum of 20 minutes, ideally to, to sort of an hour a day outdoors. So any indoor exercise you do, say for example, you go to gym or you have an indoor cycle, let's open above that. But you need a good... 20, 30 minutes at least to uh, 60 minutes a day outdoors in natural light. And I see you wearing glasses. Are they just for reading? If you went for a walk, do you take them off? I do take them off when I walk. Yes. Okay. You don't replace them with dark glasses, sunglasses? Um, sometimes I do. Okay. So what I want you to do is wear a hat or a cap with a nice dark peak like this so that you actually are blocking the direct light in your eyes and stopping you from squinting, which we don't want as ladies because it encourages wrinkles around the eyes. But what I do want you to do is no dark glasses, no prescription lenses, no contact lenses over the eyes. You have a little gland. If you had to drill a, a hole from the top of your head here and, and through there, you'd get to a little gland the size of a pea like that. And that little gland, what it does is it it's called the pineal gland and it regulates melatonin and serotonin. Now, melatonin is what helps you sleep properly at night. And one of the things that when you go through bad hormonal system, um, uh, symptoms is that the, you don't sleep really well. And that's why you kind of wake up every two hours and then you can't go back to sleep and then your mind is racing. So when you're right. doing exercise outside, exposing yourself to natural light, your melatonin levels are naturally raised at night. That's what, that's what sunlight does. It suppresses the melatonin activity during the day, which you want it to be. Otherwise, you're tired all day and then you can't sleep at night. And that's what most people. So when you suppress melatonin, your serotonin increases. And that serotonin is a neurotransmitter that makes you happy. So gone will be the depression, gone will be the tiredness. So you just start that straight away. You just get outside and you get going and you move outdoors and it doesn't matter what you do. Walking is probably the safest thing to do for anybody because we all can walk and you just put on comfortable shoes and comfortable clothing. You don't need special clothing. You don't need to spend money on gym fees. You just go for a walk, take your dog, take your neighbor, take your husband, take your children, go with somebody. It's nice. And you always know that you're doing too much as if you can't talk. It's called the talk test. If you, and you can't speak to the person you're with, you're walking too fast. Okay. So always do that talk. If you're talking with great ease and there's no slight, you need a slight breathlessness, a slight perspiration, and you know that it's at the right pace. Okay. Now that's going to regulate about somewhere between 12 to 16 different hormones in the body. And that's all going to help the hormonal system work properly. Okay. The next thing with menopausal symptoms is you've got to make sure you're getting omega threes in your diet, not from fish oil, from a flax oil source. There's only one product I recommend. It's actually manufactured in the United States in um, Idaho in a little town called uh, Nampa, right near Boise. And I've been to the factory because I always check everything out. I went over and I checked it out and I have got to see how they do things there. And the difference with the flax oil that they have in their capsules, they've blended it with sesame, olive and um, uh, sunflower oil, all organic in small quantities, but perfect quantities to stabilize it because omega-3s are very unstable. And then they've nitrogen flushed it so there's no oxygen in it to oxidize it. And it's in a capsule form, but it, it works wonders. I would recommend you take at least six of those a day to start with. Uh, three in the morning and three in the evening, all six in the morning. I know when I take it, I take them all together because I just don't want to think about taking something later on. And then you need a, a sprouted grass juice. Now, wheat grass juice, a lot of people take, but barley grass juice, and that's barley grass juice, just in case you don't get my accent. Um, it's the best one on the market is called Bali Life. They make the same people that make the Amiga, 
Um, and I've tried so many. I, every time something new comes out, I'm going, okay, I'm going to test it and see if this is still the best. And the difference is that the farmer that grows the barley grass juice grows it in the right climate, which is in Canada. He was at one stage growing it in New Zealand. He was experimenting to see where he got the highest nutrient levels. And then as they cut that grass in the field, they actually extract the juice whoa, whoa. in the harvesting. So they actually, Andrea Boise, that's interesting, just like the town, the city of Boise. Did you say it the same way? Anyway, uh, were we talking about the grass? Um, extracting the juice. They extract it in the field while it's fresh. They harvest it at night, extract it, and that's to keep the antioxidants level the highest. And the reason those antioxidants need to be so high is they actually help your pituitary gland work properly. And your pituitary gland is the managing director of the hormonal system. So I recommend stopping all other supplements and just taking these two things, the Amiga and the Body Life, because they really help the hormonal system to work properly with exercise. And then you need to be doing, gluten interferes with hormonal function and Gluten is found in wheat, it's found in barley, the grain, not the, gra not the grass. If it's found in wheat, but not in the grass. It's not in wheatgrass juice, for example. So you would take gluten out of your diet. That's very important because it has an effect of throwing, slowing down thyroid function. And that's what causes that. When your thyroid slows down, you get brain fog. It's just part of the brain fog thing. And you have moments of clarity in this brain fog and you feel like you've lost your mind. And then people will say, my husband ran off with somebody younger and smarter than me. But honestly, if you do this, you're going to find you'll lose the weight. You're going to find that your um, body's going to work properly. You're going to find that your libido comes back. And believe you, uh, we did a, a webinar last uh, Thursday evening. My husband and I together are called Sex, Drugs, and Cinnamon Rolls. And you can get the link from Linda. And you can go and listen to it. But I can tell you that at the age of 63, I just turned 63 yesterday, actually, um, and my libido is better than it's ever been in my life. I'm fitter than I've ever been. I'm stronger than I've ever been. And my husband, and so is my husband. He's 60, he'll be 67 in May. Um, and we have not had a doctor's bill due to ill health in the last 30 odd years. And that's not boasting. It's just saying that when you treat your body the way it was designed to, designed to be treated, you don't get sick. Nothing wrong happens. When something wrong happens, I know I've done something wrong. Like, I'll think, oh, I can eat this. And then it's something that's got heated fats in it. And the heated fats, now my body re reacts really badly. So does my husband. His knees get sore if he has heated fats. My joint, my knuckle in my middle finger locks if I have heated fats. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, oh dear, I have had done something to my body. And Linda said something earlier on that was fantastic. She spoke about she had like a, a sign, like a red sign, like a neon sign, like the sign that was telling her something's wrong with her body. Her stomach wasn't working properly. And we get these road signs. We get them all the time. They say, yield, slow down, turn here. And we just ignore them. We ignore them, ignore them. And then it's a huge big, okay, we need to do some road construction now and dig up the whole road. And that's what happens when you leave it. You've actually got worse things to deal with. And so you get to a place where you've got to work a bit harder on it. Um, and I'd say, you know, with menopausal symptoms, it can be gone in, as I said, three weeks weeks or three months or three years but most people see it go within six weeks if they tell if you do what i tell you to do so barley half omega that's what i do exercise outside take the uh, uh, gluten out the diet that's a starting place okay and then you need to be adding raw more raw food to your existing diet and one of the steps i've got these five basic steps i'm not going to give them all to you maybe i will with the other questions <clears throat> but one of them is to eat more alkaline forming foods by starting your cooked meals with some raw fruit or vegetables so if you're going to go and have a burger i don't tell people to give up meat or give up chicken or eggs or anything like that just start all your cooked meals with some raw vegetables or fruit okay and try and aim for a side plate like a size of your hand like that with your hand spread open like that raw before cooked what that does is alkaline forming foods increase your metabolism by up to a third which we all want as we get older so we burn fuel more efficiently you also have more energy then alkaline forming foods are full of antioxidants to help your immune system work properly and in this age of lockdown who knows how long this is going to go on from, from doesn't seem that the vaccines are even helping at this point in time um, and that's a whole other story altogether. But we have to make sure that your immune system is working properly. That's your responsibility, not the vaccine or the doctor or Dr. Fauci or Dr. McCola or anybody. It's your responsibility to make sure your immune system works properly. And the more raw fruit and vegetables you put into your body, the better your immune system works because it needs lots of antioxidants, it needs this alkaline environment. 
when the alkaline environment is alkaline, you find that your body works properly and it starts to defend itself. And it's designed to do that. You've got these, you know, you've got these T4 and, and T8, um, these killer cells that are just uh, literally annihilate viruses and bacteria, but they don't work if you don't eat properly. So exercise is essential to the immune system. Natural light is an alkaline forming diet natural whole foods, more plant food than anything else. You're looking at 75 to 80% plant, plant food in your diet. If all the symptoms don't go within probably the next like, three months, then we, you may have to consider taking animal products out of your diet because animal products do contain, even organic ones, contain the animal's actual hormones in it. And those hormones, what they do is they actually upset your hormonal system. So some people don't handle animal products, but you, when you get there, we can decide. If you're in the group, I'll answer your question if we are in one of the groups. But I think that's a starting place for you. Um, I do have a book called Perfect Health and Natural Way, which is available on Amazon. And it's also available on Kindle. And there is a chapter in there on happy hormones, it's called. And it's just briefly what I've told you now, but it'll help you a lot. So that's a, Marianne, that's that's a starting awesome. place. Thank you so much. Carla, why don't you, you just drop in, please, the, the, the name of the book, uh, Perfect Health. The Natural Way by Marianne Shira. I'm going to jump in here and just share something with you because I can see to save Marianne repeating some of the things that are going to be the solution to many of your questions. Um, I'm going to bring what I was going to leave for the end up front. So the 365 program that I've been talking about with some of you in our small groups and our coaching group is called 365 My Year of Health. It is what I am signed up to, it is how I'm living right now, and it is what has changed. I'm telling you, Marsha, from I was having hot flashes, which I called them power surges, because I'm like, I thought like hot flash is not sexy. I have to rename it. But every, and this tire that, look, okay, the tire that she was talking about, suddenly that happened, okay? And nothing moved. I was in gym. I had a personal trainer. I had everything. Nothing, nothing was working because the inside was just not right the inside was a uh, highly acidic you can be skinny and be completely unhealthy and so mary ann is a is a vegan so is her husband this is not about trying to convert anyone to veganism it's about saying if you have she says it's 75 25 kind of like an 80 20 uh mainly plant-based whole foods diet have that steak in a glass of wine have the you know the pizza every now and again it's not about taking stuff away but let me tell you about the 365 briefly because this will prevent her to having to go through all that detail again, okay? So 365 is her latest program that has just launched. And there is a pre-launch price that only we have access to before the launch price that goes out to the global, you know, to the globe at large. You know, 365, and you can go and check it out. I'll give you the website. 365, I'll do that after. I've just told you what it is, is... Every single day, you get something from Mary Ann for 365 days of the year. You get emails every day. You get recipes from her. You get weekly coaching with her just like this where you get to access her directly. And, and so the, the, the 365 is about uh, making the whole world well, but taking your body, your mind, your wellness, and your health to the next level. doesn't matter where you are. So 365 is a comprehensive long-term guys there's some, some there are some people in the waiting room has someone got an eye on that thank you there is a, a um, it is a sustainable long-term comprehensive plan so it's not you know the 30-day detox is amazing i've done that the 100 days is amazing as well i'm on the 365 because within the 365 you get options to different detoxes you may want to do something short and fast and brave or you may you, you may want to do something with your family but with 365, you get the following things. You get an email from Mary Ann every single day. So you're getting accountability and you're getting community. People like us doing this together. You get a weekly coaching call with her like this, where you get to access her. Okay, so she, this is someone who's been in the industry for 30 plus years. She's the only person in Africa who is a member on the board of the PCRM, which is the... Hmm, the practice, the oh, shivers, uh, PCRM. Uh, it's the, uh, Linda, it's the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. That's what I meant, what she said. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. And Mary Ann is the only non-medically certified professional who is on that committee based in America. So they're taking people who can't figure out their medical professionals who 
can't figure out their medical mysteries with their clients come and their patients come to Miriam. So you get, uh, you get some email every single day. You get weekly coaching with her. You get four uh, PDF copies of her recipe books, whole food, plant-based, gluten-free. You get that on a quarterly basis. Teaches you how to make, and by the way, my husband, like I said, it's me towards nothing. He is, he loves the stuff. We have to go and get Mary Ann's stuff on a regular basis. Main courses, starches, salads, baking, treats. My kids are 51, I think we're 51 days today. No sugar, no sugar. We're moms, right? We love to spoil our kids. No sugar. My son, who used to like just be the sugarholic, is he, you put dates in the freezer, it's like toffee. I didn't believe it. I thought I got to taste it. Dates in the freezer is like toffee. All these kind of things. He loves it. You get the 12 body systems. Now, here is the powerful stuff. Here is where you stop outsourcing your education of your health. And the transfer of knowledge and skills goes from Mary Ann's hands to yours. The 12 body systems, the endocrine system, which, by the way, is your whole hormonal system. Marsha, I have not one, not one menopause symptom at all in my life in such a short period of time. I'm going to tell you, caffeine was a game changer for me. I love 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 my coffee okay but it was coffee or it was menopause on freaking steroids so i gave it up and it's a complete game changer i've learned from Marianne, caffeine in any format any caffeine is an attack on your adrenal glands and that's what shoots the energy up and down so you get the endocrine system the immune system heart bones muscles blood vessels brain liver kidney ear everything okay you also get the 12 pillars of health which i love because everything about our bodies and our health and our wellness is in this 365 how to take control of your health and your body spiritual balance breaking the cycle out of stress financial fitness how your health affects your finances food and emotional balance your mind and your food your mind and your lifestyle the power of life the power of water your sleep directing anyway the list goes on 12 the i it's ridiculous value it's ridiculous value, which is why I, I'm in there. So is my family, so are my friends, so are some of my clients. Now, the launch price of this is also ridiculous. It's $365, and that's a dollar a day. A dollar a day to stop the over-the-counter medication, the menopausal issues, the weight loss programs, the all the money that we spend and the time that we spend on going to doctor's appointments, all of that. It's, it's thousands of hours and thousands of dollars. So that's a dollar a day. However, the pre-launch the pre -launch price is not a dollar a day. It's a measly 54 cents a day, which is why people are just signing up. It's a no-brainer. For $197, just a once-off payment for the whole year, you get Marianne for 365 days. So, so that's what we're doing is to love our bodies and to play, for, to play the long game. We, I'm going to give you the details to the 365 at the end of this conversation, okay? So don't ask Marianne about the 365. Ask her about your specific one issue. We'll keep that short and sharp and focused because I want you to talk to her. And at the end, I'm going to give you the link and the next steps. Yes, Monique, 197. It's 197 US dollars. And if you're in South Africa, then um, Marianne, what is the equivalent in, in rands? It's going to be the equivalent. Um, of $197, but I think almost everyone here, bar one or two, are in the US. But it's $197 it's once or pay. It's a hundred and it's 1497 Rand. Okay. So 1,400, yeah. almost 1,500 Rand is $197. This is and, and by the way, these are the two products that she was talking about. This is really important on supplements, okay? I don't know about you, if you know this about America, but it is considered as the most over-supplemented country on the planet. People's motivation is right. They want to be well. They want to be healthy. <laughs> but I really got to the detail with Mary Ann. And I've done a couple of interviews with her and I've studied her stuff. This woman, there's a, I, I thought to myself, why does she only take this for all of these years? Why is this the only stuff that she will touch and put in her body? And for all the reasons that she just gave Marsha, it's plant-based. There is nothing in here that's going to cause any acid or discomfort or be peed out or pooed out into the toilet okay what goes in here goes into the cells of your body it's plant-based so you don't have to become a vegan but this stuff here and it's aim so this is why and she spoke about the whole process that how they do their things and here's the reason i said to her well why do you take supplements at all if you're so healthy and she said well 
and, and, and she can answer that question for you herself. But that in, ter in terms of us deciding to invest the time to go and uh, grow our own barley grass and grow our and get our own flax oil that is um, alkaline based and it doesn't become because at a certain stage it becomes rancid, she can answer that question for you. This is the only stuff on the planet that is 100% plant based and the process. Now, Marianne's got pretty particular finicky standards when it comes to what she puts in her body, right? Those are the only two supplements that I've been on. I was on one other during my major thyroid thing. This is all that I take in the day now, just those two. It's, it's basically, it's plant and it's flax oil. But 365, hold on to the end. We'll give you the link. And if you want to sign up, you get into um, our private little group. There's a bunch of us doing this together. And then we hold each other accountable. We encourage each other. And we say, you know what? I'm not waiting for the weight. Look at how the weight fell off me. 15 pounds in 46 days because I switched my mind onto health gain. So thank you for that. Carla, take it away with the next one and we'll just keep the uh, detail for the end. Sure, so the next one will be Monique. So Monique, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question. Ah, hi. Good afternoon. Hi, can you get, hi, hi, can you guys hear me okay? Okay, yes, perfect. Yes, I can hear you. Um, Oh, perfect. Thank you. Uh, thank you for setting this up, uh, Linda and Carla, so we could uh, have the chance to meet. And thank you, uh, Marianne, <laughs> for your time today. I'm making a lot of notes as you're talking. It's um, been very helpful. Um, so um, we're asking one question. Um, so for myself, um, I tend to have vicious PMS. <laughs> um, pretty much since it started, like I'd be rolling on the bed like just kill me because <laughs> the pain is just awful. Um, so for pretty much 20 odd years, um, I have pain pretty much for about, I'd say 10 days, maybe with like a day off in between. Um, but it'll start a few days before, um, usually joint pain, like my legs or my back. Um, and then of course, during the process, then the cramps that you feel like you're gonna die. <laughs> and then it kind of tapers off a little bit, but then I've noticed there's still pain for a few days afterwards. And the hormonal thing, sometimes I feel like I will kill someone <laughs> and they didn't really do anything. And, you know, just the, basically you ca I kind of go like this, <laughs> emotionally wise, like in my health, I feel very down, um, just like I have no patience for anybody or anything at all and I'm just it's like everything is just down everything is just bad <laughs> and it's been that Monique, way for years I need to just ask you a couple of questions okay. are you on the contraceptive pill at all no I've never pill. taken it never 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 good good good, no. good you have any dairy products in your diet cheese milk or yogurt um the only thing any, even a little bit yeah the only dairy I eat um is yogurt greek yogurt that's it yogurt Every now and again, I might have cheese and ice cream. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So you have some sugar in your diet as well? I do, yes. Okay. All right. So, and when you say that you're in pain for 10 days, are you bleeding for 10 days? No, but the pain starts before and then with the hormones. And what's what's and the bleeding like? Is it heavy? Is it got quite a strong odor? It's usually, Spotty? it's usually heavy. Um, especially the first two days, there is an mm -hmm. odor and I do clot. Okay. All right. Mm. So the, the, the main look, the end, it's you're dealing with the same system again. It's this endocrine system. It controls uh. your menstrual periods. It controls your, 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 so everything I've said previously will come to you. I'm going to add to that. Okay. Remove Perfect. all dairy products from your diet. No dairy. And it's another thing with menopause. If you're symptoms don't go or if it's just premenstrual stuff if the symptoms aren't going you've got to get dairy products out of your diet um cow's milk is meant for baby cows that's the reality of it we meant to have our mother's milk until we were about two or three years old you don't need it for calcium your best source of calcium is dark green leafy vegetables one of the reasons why i advocate that you take the barley life every day is because it contains 22 times more calcium than cow's milk because it's in a much more usable form. You can use 100% of it. Whereas the calcium in cow's milk, you can't use at all because there's too much phosphorus and it binds it. So we know that the countries that consume the most cow's milk, the most yogurt, the most cheese are the countries that have the most osteoporosis, the most dental decay, all the 
to all to do with the loss of calcium. So we've been just fed alive for commercial reasons. Mm -hmm. Most of what we taught about our diets is really all about money. That's really what it is. And we've got to go back to, you know, when our great grandparents were around and they ate stuff out of the ground and they ate naturally and they didn't consume it's only after the second world war that we got taught that we have to consume cow's milk because they wanted to get the economy going in the united states after the war and most of the farmers had gone into the factories and were producing things to ship overseas and guns and, and and stuff like that so so now they needed to get agriculture going again people had learned to live without sugar they'd learned to live without milk they'd learned to live without cheese so they were just eating the basics um and suddenly we they it just went mad it was milk in milkshakes and ice cream and stuff that may have been occasionally but now it was all the time so we consume a lot more and it does affect the hormonal system so dairy definitely out definitely caffeine <clears throat> most of what the stuff i said the exercise is going to make a big difference to you it needs to be outdoors as well but you're dealing with that endocrine system again um and why i asked the contraceptive pill because it can actually cause with some people take it because they've got a pain but in some people it can actually cause really bad pain as well it messes with the endocrine system and it can take a good couple of years once you've come off the contraceptive pill to get your hormonal system back into balance so that's where i would start off with you exercise natural light dairy out refined sugar definitely out alcohol um, you might have a glass of wine occasionally, but if people drink alcohol on a regular basis, even if it's occasionally, for me, if I had to have a glass of wine, it would just knock me completely. Plus, it makes me bipolar about two days later. So I don't touch this stuff. And I haven't for 35 years. But um, let me tell you, there's nothing that tastes as good as health feels. When you're living in the sweet spot where everything's working properly, it's worth not having dairy in your diet. I was a cheese addict, okay? I could eat a six cheese pizza. I could eat a whole pound of cheese with a packet of apples and think I was being very healthy. But since I removed it, I've got no sinus problems. I've got no post-nasal nasal drips. I've got no blocked nose, no allergies, no heavy bleeding. Well, I've gone through menopause now. I don't have period, but I went through menopause initially just with a little bit of a mild hot flush and I couldn't Kind of figure out it was there some days and some days not and it was because i would occasionally eat a bit of goat's milk feta cheese in a salad if i was out and it was in the salad so i didn't kind of pick it out if i ate a piece or two within 20 minutes i'd have a hot flush and i'd start feeling and i wouldn't sleep well that night so and and dairy products affects us because there are a lot of hormones in cow's milk uh, come animals cow, cows are given a lot of hormones to increase the milk production now I'm going to talk in liters. Most cows will produce 30 liters of, um, of milk a day for their young. But when they're trying to increase that for us, they try and get it up to 50 to 100 liters of milk a day. And to do that, they've got to give them hormones. And they are hormones that interfere with our hormonal system. So that's a starting place, okay? Again, in the raw before the cooked, exactly what I explained, try and get your diet to a 75 to 80% raw alkaline forming food. And the way to do it, always before breakfast, have some fresh fruit. You can eat vegetables if you want to, but I, fruit works for me. For lunch, have a big salad first and then have the lunch or eat a whole bunch more fruit. And for supper, the same thing as well. And then the snacks in between can be fresh or dried fruits. Those dates in the freezer that Linda spoke about, you can put raisins in the freezer as well. Those are two dried fruits that never have preservatives on them and we don't want the preservatives because they affect our lungs and some people get asthma attacks from them but that's a whole nother story but that's a start for you Moni just get going with it if you get of course if you get onto the 365 you're going to learn all this stuff in great detail you'll know exactly what to do because that first month that's what we deal with the hormonal system and diet and then as I say we go on to the brain the central nervous system and the immune system and we go on to exercise and all the other delicious things but by the end of it every day you're going to be learning so much about your body you can take back control we hand over control to other people and it doesn't make any sense and i love your lipstick by the way thank you <laughs> thanks thank Miranda. you so much i've been writing viciously thank you so much thanks Miranda. that was great the next one up is rita Okay, hello. Sorry, um, I, sorry, I Rita. Asking, one second, sorry, one second. Give me ten, five seconds, guys. If you can keep your answer short and to the point, ten seconds is great. Twenty seconds, we've got to cut you off, okay? Because I want to get as many people connecting with Marianne as possible. Go for it, Rita. Okay, I have low iron, 
I had it since 18 months ago. It was discovered. I took iron then and I responded really well. But um, like a, maybe nine months ago, I was it was very low again and I was taking it and it wasn't helping that much. Okay. So just for people that are listening so that you understand, we need to have certain, our iron needs to be in a certain level in our body because iron transports oxygen around the body. And if you can't transport enough oxygen, your cells start to die. They don't stay healthy. So you need oxygen for healthy cells. Um, if your cells are unhealthy, they can multiply and you can, and as a damaged cell and damaged cells multiplying develops is what develops cancer. I'm not trying to frighten you. I just want to explain to people why it's so important that our iron levels are within a healthy range. The other thing that'll happen is we'll be tired. We'll just be tired all the time because without oxygen being transported, you're just exhausted all the time, okay? So the first thing is we know that gluten, which is found in wheat and rye, like rye bread and oats and, and in, um, what's the other one? The barley grain, it's not in the leaves. But so it'll in our bread, it'll be donuts, it'll be biscuits, it'll be cookies. It doesn't matter if they're whole grain, they can be very healthy. But gluten can actually prevent your body from absorbing iron efficiently. So that's number one. That's what I would do is get the gluten out of the diet. Okay, that's important. I just want to ask is how heavily do you have a menstrual period? Is it quite heavy and does it last long at all? Um, it was quite heavy. Uh, it lasted about six days, but I had an ablation then a few months ago. So now the bleeding is way less. Okay, so here is a prime example. It's very common to have low iron if you have heavy bleeding. And most women that menstruate anything longer than two light days, because once you find when your body's working properly, you have two light days, no pain. And believe me, I used to have six to seven days, like a week of pain, heavy clotting, strong odor, thought I was dying, messed up the bed linen, just a mess, okay? And when I changed my diet and the way I was living, it went to two light days, no pain, no odor, no messing, no, no, no drama. I never had accidents. You know, you just like suddenly start bleeding and you'd have to rush somewhere in a hurry. Um, so, so all of that starts working properly. So when you get your bleeding to a point where you're only doing two light days, um, then you'll find that it's easier to get the iron levels up because as you bleed, you're losing a lot of iron. Okay. So it's important to, so, so the endocrine system is very important in this, okay? So gluten needs to go. And then we find that um, certain things in your diet can bind iron. They can, they can stop them. For example, if you're taking vitamin and mineral or vitamin and mineral supplements, they can actually throw out your iron level. So you're taking iron. What it tends to do when you take an iron supplement, it tends to make your stools very dark, can cause diarrhea or constipation. So really, you just it's just passing straight through your body. It's not really being absor absorbed. You need iron that is attached to a carbon molecule in the supplements. It's not really attached to the carbon molecule. It's in a processed form. So it's very difficult. You can use somewhere around two to 8% of it. Whereas if you had iron in raisins and iron in dates and dark green leafy vegetables and iron in beets, for example, if you were to drink beet juice regularly, you can use a dried version called Ready Beets. Um, barley life that I mentioned earlier on very high in natural iron but it's attached to a carbon molecule and like that you can use 100% of it it's pointless taking an iron supplement two to eight percent makes no sense it means you know 92 to yeah 92 it's 10, two to 10% 90 to 100% basically 92 to 100% is basically just you just literally getting rid of it's either passing out in the feces or in your urine so when you're eating it from a, a, a food source you're getting that carbon molecule attached to it you can use 80 to 100 percent of it so now you're going to hold on to the iron better so we've got to look at what your diet is like you've got to get things like a dried figs make sure there's no preservatives on them raisins dates the barley life grass the ready beets you can use the dried beet powder or you can make your own beet uh, juice and then we know that when you have enough vitamin c in your diet not in supplement form because vitamin c is actually the safest supplement to take and it can cause gout arthritis kidney stones stomach ulcers and osteoporosis so you don't want stomach ulcers because that also makes you lose blood as well uh, you can lose up to a teaspoon a day of blood just by having a stomach ulcer so what do you need vitamin C from? You need it from raw fresh fruits and vegetables. So eating raw food before cooked food helps you get enough vitamin C and that helps you to hold onto the iron, okay? So that's a starting place to you. I could go on for hours, but I know there are a lot of other questions to answer. And that's a starting place for you. The other thing is drinking tea or anything with tannin in it. Like, I don't know if you drink tea. 
tannin in Green tea, tea yeah. can prevent you absorbing iron, okay? It stops you absorbing the iron. So if you have a cup of tea and then you're going to eat a meal, whatever you had sort of about an hour or two afterwards, or if you have it straight after a meal, you won't be able to absorb any iron from that food at all. So you shouldn't be drinking tea either. So that, that includes green tea too, right? Uh, green tea too, and, and, and bush tea or honey bush tea or robust tea or any, any tea that doesn't even have caffeine. You've got to look at what's in it. But a lot of teas today, even without, uh, but green tea contains tannin, absolutely, yes. And so does normal tea. Okay. Is, is peppermint tea okay? What would you advise for people? Peppermint tea like is fine. Peppermint, 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 peppermint tea is fine. Tea is fine. Yeah. A bit of ginger and honey and lemon or lemon and honey. Uh, my favorite tea is something called aloe blossom tea, which is actually made in the United States. It's a company that makes it it's called Forever Living. Uh, if you can't get hold of it, you can always email me and I'll send you or I'll give Linda the contact details. You can actually order it online. You just need to have a member's number to do it. Um, you don't have to go and become a member. It's so expensive becoming a member of that company, but you can order that. It tastes like Christmas cake in a cup. It's my favorite thing to do. But you can do cinnamon and honey and lemon peel and orange peel. Um, I've even taken pure 100% mango juice from concentrate and put boiling water in it and get that smooth creaminess. It makes it taste a bit mouth feels like tea with milk in it but it's not um so you can use any i love i love grape juice pure 100 percent pure grape juice no preservatives or added sugar with cinnamon and a bit of lemon peel in there that also gives a lovely flavor as well so there's lots of things chamomile tea is fine uh peppermint tea is say is fine um there are lots of herb teas out there rosemary tea it depends on what you like i love the cinnamony gingery kind of like a chai type of thing but you've got to be careful of chai a lot of chai has got powdered milk in it and then you pop it in and it's got cow's milk in it and it's just powdered it shouldn't be creamy if it's creamy it's got milk in it unless you're using almond milk almond milk's a great way to do it as well okay, okay. Next. thank you Pleasure. okay that's great uh the next one up is christina jones you can go ahead and unmute yourself hi Thank you so much for your time today. I am signed up for your 365 course. I've struggled with a lot of thyroid problems. Um, and I'm curious, I read that you recommend like a quarterly detox. When you're starting out, do you recommend starting with a detox or just uh, is there like a specific way it's set out? No, I don't recommend you start with a detox at all. I like you to get into the program first and I like you to try and have at least two to three months under the belt before you do one of the detoxes. But having said that, there are detoxes that are really mild that you could do, but it's better to at least get the first month un under your belt so you understand about diet and the endocrine system. So the times, and I, it's, it would be better, it's more supportive for you. You'll get more benefit from it if you do it in the month. So if you're on it already, the next, next one is on the 21st of um, March. And then we start the next one after that, 21st of June, 21st of September, 21st of December. It's basically at the time when the seasons change and it's the best time for your body to just have a break. And so I'll be sending you, if you signed up already, you'll be getting the 12 detox programs to choose from. It, it'll come through in the next couple of weeks. So you'll have a month or two to think about it. And then you can choose which one, but it's important to listen to your body because your body might say, just do the three day, uh, fruit only or the juice only or the water only or no just do the raw food with some vegetables and cooked steamed veggies so there are different programs that you go on to but you've got to kind of just look at it and decide what appeals to you and then you'll say that appeals to me I'm going to do that one you must listen to your body that's the most important thing I'm going to teach you on this program is how to listen to your body because we don't listen to our bodies we ignore it and then we get these signs like Linda was saying you're getting these signs and we don't listen to it um, and usually it starts with niggly little things and we just ignore it because we think, well, it's not a disease, it's just a niggle. And then it becomes a bigger niggle. So yeah, you'll, we'll be working through the detox programs and I'll be helping you through that. Okay, yeah, that's great. So next up we have Rachel. Rachel, you can go ahead and unmute yourself, ask your question. Thank you. Um, hi, Marianne. Um, hi, Rachel. I am... Uh, 37 I'm five foot two and about 250 pounds so I've gone a lot of different diets and all of that my father has had good luck with um, intermittent fasting kind of every other day gotten off his insulin for diabetes I am not diabetic I'm just curious with the 365 is fast I don't know if fasting is right for me or not but it was just curious if that's at all a part or if 
that you have any view on that. Um, intermittent fasting can be good if you're on a healthy diet. If your diet's not healthy, you can just be playing games with your body. Okay. Um, and you could end up slowing down your metabolism. So when I say intermittent fasting, again, it's more important to listen to your body than it is to do intermittent fasting. So if you wake up in the morning and you're not hungry until one o'clock, well, that's when you'll have your first meal then. But if you're starving hungry first thing in the morning and you're trying to force yourself to get to a place, you know, maybe it's 11 or 12 o'clock and then, you know, you stop eating and let's say 4 p.m. in the afternoon and 7 o'clock you're so hungry you could kill, you know, your... Uh, you're ready to go out and hunt an animal or something, you know, uh, or you'll jump in the car and go to the nearest store. And that's not a smart thing to do. So it's got to be done with wisdom. And that's why I recommend it rather getting your basic program and eating habits in, in place first. And then as you do that, you learn to listen to your body. And if you wake up and you're not hungry, I didn't have a hungry day today. I woke up, I wasn't hungry. Um, I ate a bit, quite a, quite a bit much. We had a a great barbecue with potatoes and foil. We did our vegan patties on the and our beautiful gluten-free bread rolls and all this wonderful stuff. And then we had our vegan ice cream and our vegan brownies, which is made with carob, so it's got no caffeine in it. And it was all just too delicious. So I ate a bit much. I wake up this morning and I said to my husband, I don't want to look at food for a month. And so I didn't eat at all, but then we went and did a, a cycle. We went and did a cycle for about two hours up in the mountains on one of the farms. And I came back and I was feeling mildly lightheaded. It was about one o'clock and I thought, no, I actually need to have something. So I had a smoothie and some fruit, but I haven't had a big appetite today. And that's all I've eaten today. And I probably won't eat till tomorrow, but that's not a diet I'm on. That's listening to my body. So my body's saying it's not hungry. My husband was hungry. He wanted to eat something. So he's busy eating something. So he's having a second meal. And you'll find most people, once they've been on this program for a while, they settle into, especially once you're older and and uh, kind of over 40 but even it depends on your le activity level the more active you are the more hungry you get but as you get kind of past the 40 50 ish you actually find you're very comfortable eating like people in rural communities do more primitive communities they eat late morning and um late afternoon they eat twice a day and you get to that place and you get into that rhythm and you just nothing phases you especially when you've done a bit of a fast you feel that you can control eating it doesn't control you get to a place where you don't the food doesn't control you anymore you control the food and that's a great place to mm -hmm. be it's part of living in the sweet spot where, it's spot where everything's working your body weight's right you've got energy you're sleeping well at night you have your period and there's no weird symptoms and you looking the best you could ever look because it's a most amazing thing. As you get well, like I, I've seen people, I, one couple sent me a photograph of themselves after they did the 30 day detox. The husband's nose was rather large when he started out. And by the time he'd done the 30 day program, his nose had shrunk. And I'm like, oh, this guy is really good looking. And I've seen over the years that everybody becomes their best beautiful self. It's the most amazing thing. It doesn't matter. They're short, tall, round, shapely, what color your skin is, you just become your best self. All the puffiness goes around your eyes and your jaw, and it's just an amazing place to be. So it's a good thing to take a photograph of yourself when you're starting out and then take it in a year's time. And you're like, people will actually say to you, what are you doing? Are you on a diet? And you'll say, no, I'm actually just, I'm on a year of health. That's what I'm on. I'm on the 365 year of health. I've committed to getting healthy over a year period slowly because it didn't take me a year to mess my health up. So I'm spending a year getting healthy. And if you go on this program, it's not going to take you two to eight years. It takes most people two to eight years to get well because they dabble in it. They do it a little bit and then they go off it and then they're back on it and then they do it a little bit. And it's not hard. The hardest part is that not everybody around you is doing what you're doing. And that's the beauty of going into a group like this. You've got the support of everybody on a daily basis, your facilitator, which is Linda and Carla, for example, they'll facilitate you and the group's encouraging you and you're all sharing recipes. And once a week, you're meeting with me. So that support is there is really easy to do this. Once you've been doing it for a year, man, it's just so easy. You got all these neural pathways in your brain. Your brain just wants to stay there. It doesn't want to go anywhere else. And your body actually screams at you if you do something it doesn't like. I mean, it actually tells you, don't do this. <laughs> so uh, looking forward to spending more time thank with you. you. It's a friendly thank place. you, Marianne. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, great. That was everyone who had a question. If there's anyone else who has a question, please just pop in the chat box saying that you have a question. 
All right, I'll yeah, keep an eye on that. Thanks, Carla. Thanks, Marianne. So I have just okay. put into the chat box those who are wanting to know more about the 365 program, or if you are done with all the issues and the symptoms and the ailments and the period pain and the menopause, whatever, and if you're ready just to get signed up, there is the link, www.wholeworldwell.org. That's where you'll see the main site. You'll see the 30-day detox. You'll see the 100 days program, and you'll see the 365. Click on 365, read through everything, just as I shared the high level with you of what it is uh, regarding what it includes, the coaching with Marianne. Of course, what you get, as you know, in any coaching program is the community, the accountability, and expert mentorship for 365 days. I have been with Marianne for 20 years. There's a reason why I'm still around and still learning stuff and still benefiting from it. And remember what she said to me as well before is you've been living a certain way for years. You need to give yourself at least a year of health to allow your body to bounce back and just get back on its feet, right? Don't be hard on yourself. Don't be like I used to be and say, come on, I need to get back on track. And because that's it, abusing our bodies. So our minds and our rest and our body and our everything is all connected to your heart. And you know, I had a, a call with a wonderful friend and actually um, our, our marriage coach as well. One of our marriage coaches, he's a rabbi, rabbi in a town in Israel. The link is above um, if you want to put it in there, www.wholeworldwell.org. Thanks, Kadla. And uh, he was saying, you know, I don't know if everyone is stopping to realize just how much pressure the last year has brought us, how much pressure we've been under, how much we've had to just adapt. And everyone is, you know, politics is coming at us and economics is coming at us and jobs is coming at us, security is coming at us. We need to be, I've learned this from Marianne, we need to be gentle with our bodies. You know, every time I go to the loo now and I, and, I, and I do a poop, I thank my body. I'm like, good job. Good job, man. Like we're doing awesome. This is amazing. Listen, the Jews thank their bodies and they thank God every time they have a bowel movement, they know what they're doing. Every time I have a meal now, that is if it's a peach or if it's a big meal, my stomach works. I'm telling you, my mentor here saved me from colon cancer. I'm telling you, that's what I believe. She, yes, she's right. I'm doing the work. I'm, I'm committed. But you know what? I, I don't know what I would have done. Otherwise, guys, you don't want to wait for the scale. You don't want to wait for, and in terms of sleep, I see some of you talking about sleep. Um, I went from my whole life, doesn't matter how healthy I was or not, I used to take at least 40 to 45 minutes to fall asleep at night. One of the most beautiful blessings of this program for me is it takes me, and I'm not even kidding, three, four, maybe five minutes. And sometimes I test myself and I lie down because my body has worked well, it's functioned well, and then I'm ready for bed at 10, 10, 30. I lie down and I thought like, no, tonight is probably not gonna happen tonight. And then I'm out. I'm out and I wake up thinking, I don't sleep through the night every night yet because it's only been 49 or 50 days. And I have, I've done some damage and my body is repairing. And so the best thing I've learned from Marianne is, is start listening to your body. Stop being mentored by everyone out there. Stop outsourcing your health. This is where you're going to learn about your body, the 12 systems, the 12 pillars, inside and out. And it is a trustworthy place. I don't refer anyone to my clients or my friends or my family, people I love, without knowing who they are, what they stand for, and their values. And so go to that link if you want to check it out, ask any questions, send me a message, drop it in the chat box here. We're going to wrap up and then, um, yeah, or if you want to go ahead and click on it at 365, click to cart, it's $197 as opposed to 365. It's not going to stay at that price. Then the other bonus as Mary Ann has set it up because she is on a mission to make the whole world well, is if you want to get your $197 back, you just sign up 13 friends. That's how it works. So if you have friends or family that you want to get in on this program, if they sign up, you get yours for free your whole year. That's if you want to do it that way. And that's that's how we're getting the message out there. I am not in, I'm not a network marketer. I am not in a, you know, in all these things. But what is smart, what is obviously of high value is we take a good message and something that's making the world well, saving marriages and saving lives and, and how it has literally saved mine and changed mine. And I'm just going to continue my mission just to share the tool, the good news, the power toolkit that is the natural way. 365 is, is how it is. So remember that if you get on that this Wednesday, 
So this coming Wednesday, which is the 14th to 17th of February, Marianne, will you tell us that 365 starts on Wednesday, right, with the coaching program? Yes, and I'll be sending you the link, and then you can just send it to everybody that signed up, Linda. Right. Uh, it's uh, standard South African time, 8 to 9 p.m., so it's 12, kind of lunchtime in the, the 12 States. 12 central, noon central. Uh, yeah, and it's about two hours earlier in the U.K., yeah. I think it's I think Somewhere around there. central standard. We'll work it out. If, if you're on it, yeah. Wednesday, 17, SA2. Once you put that in, Carla, what is that central standard time? I think it's 1 p.m., but we'll confirm that, okay? Guys, we, we, we're all signed up. We are ready to go. We are getting our emails already that will just blow you away. And it's adding to. If like me, you were worried about giving everything up, listen, if you know me, I'm a bubbles girl, okay? I think champagne is the shiznes of liquid. After the water of life, it's champagne, okay? So I don't give up champagne. I have done it for a little while. I'm doing it for until my, my body is 100%. But on a Friday night when we have rest day, I enjoy some amazing red wine with my husband on a date night once a week. We're going to enjoy that as well. So it's not about giving up everything and living this miserable, measly life. It's actually the opposite. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see me very well right now, but I am glowing and I've been working out, glowing as in my skin. Okay, I turned 49 in a couple of months. I think I'm looking pretty damn okay, if I may say so myself. And that might sound really cocky to you, but I was looking, listen, I was looking like this. I was puffy, I was tired, I was fatigued. I couldn't, I, I couldn't go two hours without crashing, okay? And so, there, so I didn't give up anything to get where I am now. I gained knowledge, I gained power tools and I gained focus and momentum. And I still am, am, am eating and drinking things that I love. So listen, there's, there's nothing else to say except click on the link, go sign up. If you have some serious uh, questions or, 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 or um, concerns, Email, um, email Carla at, with a K, she's going to type it in the chat box, Carla at lindapage.com. We'll pick up your questions and we will ask Marianne to kindly address any concerns or queries you have around 365. But otherwise, this is where it's at. If you're serious about your health and about feeling bold and beautiful and about not being conformed to the world who is getting, you know, vaccinated, listen, we're not talking about vaccinations, but who, are, who is going to doctors and specialists and living on supplements and, and spending a fortune on all that stuff. We're taking control. We're taking education into our own hands and living the life that God designed us to live. So Marianne, on behalf of everybody here, I'm so grateful for your time. I'm so grateful that you are someone who is trustworthy and committed to the, the mission that you started 30 years ago with Mark. We love and appreciate you guys so much. And, and thank you for what you're doing. We are, as far as what we see you do, we are all in from our side. Linda, thanks so much. It's been wonderful. Thank you for always being a wonderful host. And you got that right. You changed your life because you did it. So many people will hear this stuff and then they'll walk away and not do anything. They won't make the change. Um, and it's, you know, the quote that we all know is if you keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result, you've actually lost your mind. I mean, yeah. if you just keep eating the same and taking the same medicine and these, if you're on any medication, you've got to look up the side effects because very often the very problems you've got are the side effects of the medication. The last words I can leave with you is that your body is incredibly intelligent. It's got 37 trillion cells in it, all making energy and doing repair work. It's designed to repair itself and fix itself and protect itself. And the only reason it doesn't do that is because we're not creating the right environment where the body can work efficiently. So health actually is your responsibility. Somebody else can't fix you. They can remove body parts, they can give you medication, they can be your guru. And I don't want to be anybody's guru. You can be your own guru. But you need to learn and not. you don't need to get a degree in nutrition. You just need to know the basics so that you understand how your body works so you can trust it. Trust your body it will reward you if you treat it properly. And I can say God bless and thank you for letting me be part of your journey. It's always a privilege to meet with people who are interested in wanting to be healthier. And I hope I can help you further on. Thanks, thank you, Marianne. Marianne. Okay, so as we sign off, folks, we're going to take a break, 35 minutes. And this is just a reminder of what's coming up, okay? So at <laughs> 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, I think it is, no, it's not the top. Oh, yeah, it's the top. Oh, my gosh, it's 25 past eight. Okay. 
at the top of this hour, okay, in 35 minutes time, we are talking fashion in the bedroom. We got a bit of this, we got a bit of bling, we've got some lingerie, we've got some sexy things coming your way, how to spice things up. Also talking about how I went from frigid to frisky and I want to put some tools into your hand that help me with that. So at the top of this hour in about 35 minutes time, uh, the link is in our events tab in the dress to connect group so you need to be there get the link it's under fashion in the bedroom and we're going to have a, a power hour of how you can experience freedom and fun with fashion in the bedroom whether you're married or divorced or somewhere in between or to be married then and adults only okay it's women only and it's adults only so i don't know what's an adult 18 plus 21 plus i have no idea that's entirely up to you <laughs> okay See you in 35 minutes. Thank you, folks. It was great seeing you. You can unmute yourselves and say thank you if you want to. Thanks, Linda. Bye. Bye.